Alright, it looks like the Valorant test is working without any issues, other than my skill lacking a bit here. What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. In today's video, we are taking a look at Mobile Pixel's Duex Max Portable Monitor. If you are a returning viewer, you know I've reviewed a few other Mobile Pixel's portable monitors, including I think it was the Duex Plus and the Duex Lite. So this is the largest in that series at 14.1 inches. It is huge, which I personally like. Small ones are nice and all, but I like it bigger, bigger the better. So inside this box, let me go and move this box out of the way. So that way you can see what we have inside. So of course we have the monitor itself. And one of the nice things, it comes in multiple colors, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But look at this beautiful red that I have right here. And then of course we also have the cable, the power cable that you can see is a USB-C on one end. And this is the end that will go into the monitor itself. And then we have a splitter that has USB-C and a USB-A. So depending on what device you're using, you may need to use one or the other. So you can use this on Chromebook, just a heads up. I'll talk a little bit more about that later probably, but the USB-C end will go into the Chromebook because at least for mine, that's how I make it work. It won't work with the USB-A. Then we also have the instruction manual and extra adhesives. We have alcohol pad to wipe off whatever surface that you're gonna be putting the magnets on. We also have a little paper with the setup guide. It has a QR code and a link. It also has a little picture showing you how to do it right here. I'll go ahead and just kind of show it here for a second in case you lost yours and need to pause and follow along with this. All right. And then we also have this paper, which I really appreciate that they included because it shows you how to place the magnets correctly because you can't just place the magnets, however, obviously on the back of your laptop. And then we also have the four magnets that you see here. So if you're wondering what happened to your magnets, they are or most likely will be on your monitor itself. As you can see, I haven't used mine because I have some other mobile pixel monitors that came with magnets, of course, that are already on my laptop, so I didn't need to use these. So I left them there for now, but I will be showing you how it looks on my computer in a bit. In the meantime, let's go ahead and just kind of flip this open real quick so you can see the screen of this beautiful monitor. Now you'll see I left this little tab on. Um, I don't know why I didn't take it off. I should, but I usually leave these things on just, just, for, or just for no reason really. But yeah, so we have our monitor. Let me give you some general info before I show you what it looks like in action. So first off, link for this product is in the description below. However, I have a custom link in the description below that is $50 cheaper than if you were to buy on Amazon, at least from making this video. It may change, you know, it fluctuates and all that. But if you want to save a little extra money, make sure you check the link I have in the description below. Again, saving you 50 bucks there. So this Duex Max is a 14.1 inch portable monitor. Perfect for any laptop that's 14 inches or bigger, because if your laptop's bigger, you can't connect it to the back of the screen. Keep in mind, you can still use it with smaller laptops, just you can't put it onto the back. You would have to use it with a stand. I do have an origami stand that I will show a little bit later so that you can see what that looks like as well. It has a 1080p FHD display, comes in four colors. We've got gray, blue, red, and green. As you can tell, I have the red in this video. It weighs about 1.8 pounds and is as thin as one fourth of an inch and as thick as about half an inch at its thickest point. It has a 60 Hertz refresh rate. It's compatible with Mac OS and Windows. And if you look on their website, it says Mac OS Windows, like a Nintendo Switch. It doesn't mention Chromebook as far as I saw, but it does work on Chromebook because I have a Chromebook and it works completely fine. No driver needed, at least not for mine. Again, since it's not say on their website, I don't know if that's if it's variable based on which Chromebook you have, but as far as I can tell, works on Chromebook, no issues there. Okay, so let's take a little closer look at the monitor and right here, you're gonna see we got two ports. One is for power and one is to replace the port that you're using. So it has that USB port, an extra one. So you can connect an extra device or you know a mouse if it uses a USB-C, whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and close this up. 
and then obviously on the back as i've already shown is where the magnets are this is how you'd attach it to your laptop which again i'll show later on on this side you'll see we have a couple buttons to control the menu settings that the display has on its own overall it's a very simple device to use it's very very easy to use so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and grab my origami stand and show you what it looks like on that so here we have the box for the origami stand that they sell with it um, of course it's sold separately usually you might be able to find some bundles but this is how you can turn any of their portable monitors into a standalone monitor so it can be a little bit difficult to use at least in my own experience so i'll go ahead and open this up and then i don't really want to put it display side down but i'm going to for this bit right here so what you're going to notice it does have two magnets on it as well let me go and flip that over so pretty much you're going to align it into these spots here and since there's already some magnets there too it might be a little hard to get it to stick correctly but there we go i'm going to go flip that over and i'm going to reposition my camera so you can get a better angle of this okay so here's that other angle i was talking about so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to lift it up from below right here and kind of bend it in to make this triangle shape as you can see right here and you're just going to set it down like so and voila you have a stand of course i didn't do it perfectly there but i think we're good um so pretty much you can do it like that and i'm gonna flip it over real quick for you to see as well and voila now it's sitting up like a regular monitor um of course the origami stand has some of its limits you know depending on the surface and all that but overall i think it is a good little accessory to get if you want to be able to use your monitor separately without having to put it on the back of your laptop which actually personally that's what I usually end up doing with mine because I like to move it a little bit further away from my laptop sometimes. But again, that's really up to you. And it really does work well. It's a nice little thin accessory that you can just toss into your bag. But let's go ahead and grab my laptop so you can see what it looks like attached to that. Okay, so as you can see here, I have already gotten out my laptop. Let me really quickly fix my monitor, the Duex Plus that I'm about to attach to it. Close it up so I can show you real quick what you're gonna be doing. So if you wanna follow along, you can. Obviously, I'm not doing the steps exactly, but what you wanna do first is you wanna align these magnets up on the back of your monitor. And sorry, the screen's getting a little bit blurry there, but just like so. So that way, when you put it on here, it's correct. Of course, that's, that's just to show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it's all the way on one side. That's how you know what it kind of looks like. So that way, when you're sliding it across the back of your laptop, it's pretty much sliding all of these along this, like that. Hopefully that made sense. That's not the best way to explain it, but you're gonna align the holes on the back of your laptop. I have an Alienware, a massive Alienware, as you can see here. So aligning those holes uh, on the back, I had to be a little bit more cognizant because I need the edge of the monitor to actually reach the edge of my laptop so I can bend it a little bit. So once you get that done, you're just gonna pretty much attach this to the back. Hopefully this will work with the other magnets still on there. And we are there, we're done. So now, I'm just gonna go ahead and lift up my laptop. And let me go ahead and lift up the screen or the camera a bit there. Cool, and let me go ahead and readjust some of this stuff so it's a little easier to see as I pull it out. So pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is I will be pulling it out from the side like so, and then you can just bend it like that. And there you go, you got your extra monitor. Now I'll go ahead and turn it on of course, but for now I had the wire take it out so it'd be easy to see. You can of course push it back in and it's a little hard to do from the angle I'm at right now, but uh, it might be easier if I just place it down and there we go. So now I'm gonna show you the other version of this, which is the presentation mode. So the reason for this is if you're doing a presentation, obviously, you can move my laptop a little bit back and you can pull this out and let me just make sure it's all in place. Oop, I think I accidentally pulled it off its magnets. There we go, lock into place. And you can flip it over and bam, you got a presentation mode. So whatever's on your screen, you can mirror onto here. So that way when you're doing a presentation, they can see what you see. So let me go ahead and flip this back around. There we go. And voila. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so you can see all that with, well, the monitor working. Okay, as you can see, I have brought my laptop on to Google. And now what we're gonna do is you'll see I've had it connected here. 
you'll notice the monitor is of course off in the back. But as soon as I pull this bad boy out, let's go and pull it out real quick. You'll see it automatically starts turning on and I believe the default is just to mirror it. Yep, so we'll have the mirror right here. And of course you can adjust this however you want. And then you can push it back in and it'll automatically turn off. But before I do that, actually you know what? I will go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and do that. So there you see it went off and my laptop screen is coming back online. So now I'm gonna go and flip this over. So that way you can see the presentation mode again. So pull it out, Oops. make sure it's all the way out correctly. And then it will take a little while to start up there for a sec. And there you go, presentation mode. Now, whatever I'm doing on this side, people can see that I'm doing on this side as well. So it is a really nice little feature to be able to flip it like that as well. And you can see the wire is definitely long enough to handle that. So let's go ahead and put it back. We'll flip this bad boy back over. And now I'm gonna go and show you what it looks like with the origami stand as well. And voila, I now have it on my origami stand. So now I can move my laptop a little bit further away. You can see the stand is very helpful in this sense because now I can just keep this wherever I need to, whether it be closer, further away, further left, further right, whatever it may be. And I'm gonna go and take off the stand and show you something kind of neat. So let me go and pull the stand off, toss to the side. So something you probably are also wondering, well, what if I wanna put it the other way so the wire is on the opposite side? Well, you can just flip the screen and it will automatically realign. Um, I believe right now, since I have it on horizontal, it will obviously just, it'll work like this, but you can set it to become vertical as well and flip that as well. So it's really nice how intuitive the screen is. Let's go ahead and find those buttons real quick. Uh, I think I have to open it back up a little bit. Oops. Yep, buttons are on the inside a little bit there. So you can see I can adjust brightness. So I'm doing that right now to the max. We can decrease brightness, increase brightness. We have the menu right there for the backlight, contrast, saturation, temperature. Eye care mode, so you know, blue light filter pretty much. G sensor, reset and exit of course. So it does have all of those functions as well in case you want to mess around with any of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to exit. So as you can tell, this monitor has a lot of great features. It's very versatile and honestly, it's just great to have. Personally, I like to take this whenever I go to a Starbucks or whenever I go to the library to study and just want that extra monitor because at home, I'm used to having a second monitor at all times. So let me give you some fun fact real quick. You can use it for gaming. I have tried it on Valorant and it works, but I wouldn't say it's ideal for that. However, you can use it with Nintendo Switch, which I think it works well with. I personally haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure that's stated that it's, you know, it's meant to be used with like Nintendo Switches and stuff. So it should work just fine with that. But for Valorant, works, wouldn't highly recommend it, but it does work. It's really great to have when I go to a Starbucks or library, as I mentioned, since I just love having the two monitors. And there's a lot of other situations where having a second monitor comes in handy, such as when you're traveling. That's another great time to have it. It's also great for presentations and group work since I can just flip the screen as screen as I showed earlier. And I will do a little clip of me starting a Valorant on it or something so you can get an idea of that. All right, it looks like the Valorant test is working without any issues other than my skill lacking a bit here. Maybe I should get back in my gaming chair for this, but hey, it's working. I can't believe I can play Valorant so easily on this monitor. I was expecting it to lag or something, but it honestly is working out pretty well other than the fact that I'm not in my wired connection right now. This is looking pretty good, not gonna lie. If you're interested in seeing a comparison video between the Duex Max, the Duex Plus, and the Duex Lite, let me know and I'll see what I can do since I do own all three monitors. That's it for this video. Link product, description below. Make sure you check that out. $50 off with my link. If you found the video helpful, I'd love it if you could leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well. Thank you for watching.